Champions are made, they're not born. There's a big controversy in the United States in college football and in uh, professional sports. They're always trying to recruit great athletes. In the former Soviet Union and even in Russia today, those countries believe that champions can be made. As long as the kid's healthy and he's, he enjoys contact and, and he has any physical ability at all, training is the key to becoming a champion. This was from a Russian hockey coach. Hockey in the Soviet Union, before it was famous, was a, a game played with a stick and a ball called bandy. And the sports authorities wanted someone to come forward and start a hockey team so they could play in the Olympics. And they recruited a man, uh, Anatoly Tarasov, with the Red Army, the CCSK team. And he studied. They wouldn't give him any film. He said, you know what, they were right. They didn't give me any film, so he had to make up his own hockey. And they had to make up a completely new style of play so they could beat Canadians. These Russian hockey players ended up defeating the NHL All-Stars. They beat the Canadians, amateurs supposedly, mm -hmm. beat the NHL All-Stars, they beat Canada, you know, the world champions, Stanley Cup winners, everything else. Very smart man. But the question always comes up, are champions born or are they made? Are they just born great? Well, I mean, certainly a kid has to be healthy. A young person has to be healthy. And they have to enjoy the physical contact and the tussle. If they don't enjoy it, they're not going to stay with it anyway. But given reasonable health and reasonable physical ability, I think that he believes that champions can be made. Anatoly Tarasa said, gift is a good thing. Another coach was talking to him. This is how the conversation came about. A coach said, well, if I get a player with all the great attributes and all the natural ability, I can turn him into a great player. And Trasov was nice enough not to rebuke the guy publicly. But he said, well, I thought to myself, gift is a good thing. But then what are we coaches for? No, we, would, we shouldn't wait for a miracle to happen. But instead, we must always think about instilling these qualities in hockey players. We must invent different exercises, including compl complicated ones, to develop the qualities a player needs. And I, I go by that in judo. I took his words and took it to heart, and I try to think about you know where people are getting stuck in randori or in contests, what troubles they're having. We didn't even talk about the situation drills. There's so much to cover. But I'm looking at just technique errors. Maybe they're coming in on Osoto, and their driving leg collapses and they get countered or squashed. They can't make Osoto. Well, what do you do? Just keep doing Osotogari? Well, that may help somewhat, but until you correct the problem of the driving leg with special exercises, your throw's not going to get any better. So we have to isolate the problem, analyze what the problem is, and then come up with special exercises to solve that technical weakness, that error. And that only fortifies your technique and makes your technique better. Dave King, uh, coach of the Toronto uh, hockey team, the Maple Leafs, he was also, lately, I think he's the coach of the Columbus Blue Jackets, spent a year or two years in the Soviet Union coaching their team, one of their teams. He said, in North America, we believe that great players are born with intangibles that make them great. In Russia, coaches firmly believe that great players can be made and that training is the key. Now, I kind of go along with that philosophy. I know Steve does too. Otherwise, why do we train? If you don't think you can be great, <laughs> why do you train? I mean, certainly train to get better. I mean, every one of you is going to become very good at what you do with the right training. You know, you put in your 10,000 hours, everybody's going to be really, really good, far above normal. You'll never be like other people walking in the earth. You're mortals. You'll be amongst the earth. <laughs> privileged few, all right? I know you think the same way, so. I get long with, I get excited about this stuff, and I'm gonna shut up now, because we're seven minutes over our time. I want you to enjoy the rest of your weekend.
Thanks for taking your weekend to come here and see my stuff. And I hope you get something out of it. I hope it helps you reach your goals in judo, jiu-jitsu, sambo, whatever it happens to be. So thank you very much. Appreciate it. Goodbye.